Hi everybody, I'm Judy. Welcome to my Addicted to Puzzles channel. Today we're going to do a puzzle haul and I'm going to give you a sneak peek at uh, some of my Christmas puzzles that I'm going to do. I'm in a different angle in my puzzle room today. I have the 40,000 piece Mickey puzzle going on, um, part six, which is the 1960s. So I didn't want that to be in front of me or, you know, messing it up or anything. So I just have my puzzles I'm going to talk about in the corner. Okay, so the first puzzles I'm going to talk about are two advent calendars. Um, the first advent calendar is from Pen2. You probably have seen this on other people's channels. Um, it's a 24 day calendar. So you pop the, you know, pop the things open and each 24 days of Christmas will give you a small Christmas puzzle to do. And pin two puzzles are all plastic. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what these are. I know there's like a snow globe. Yeah, I just, I know there's a snow globe because I saw it on Amazon in the pictures when I bought it. This is going to be really cool to do. And I'm pretty sure it's probably still on Amazon. Um, I'll find the link and I'll put it in the description. But this is the Pin 2 Advent Calendar. And I do plan to start it on December 1st. And the second Advent Calendar I'm going to do is by Reverie. So I recently completed the... 13 day advent calendar from Reverie um, for Halloween and the pictures were so adorable like they were the cutest Halloween pictures I think I've ever seen so when I saw the Christmas one you know I had to get it okay so there's 24 mini puzzles I don't plan to actually see what they are until December 1st but if these are as cute as Halloween I know I will not be disappointed this advent calendar the last I checked it was still available at puzzlescanada.com um, I will put a link in the description for this hopefully it'll still be available um, I haven't checked in a couple days but a couple days ago it was available so I will put a link to this advent calendar from Reverie in the description below okay so yesterday my husband went to Target and he found some really cool puzzles. I love Disney as you guys probably know and he found a Christmas retro Mickey puzzle. It's in a tin. Um, it's it's adorable. It's from Seiko. They're only at Target. They're in a tin. They're <laughs> like super cute okay so this is the first Christmas Mickey in a tin and then there's this one it's in the um it's retro reimagined for the uh Disney 100 celebration um super cute so these two I will definitely be doing for Christmas this year. Um, I'll try to time lapse them because I really like time lapsing my puzzles. I don't think I'm going to have time to time lapse every Christmas puzzle I do, but I really love to time lapse the Disney ones. So uh, these two should be time lapsed. This is not a Christmas puzzle, but it's still Mickey in the silver foil accents uh, for Disney 100. Like, this one is adorable. It will definitely be time-lapsed. I don't know if I will do it before or after Christmas. This one might have to wait till after. But this one is so cute. So, if you haven't gone to Target lately, um, just these three alone are completely worth going to Target over. And right now, um, when my husband just bought these, they were buy two, get one free. So buy two get one free definitely worth it the other puzzles he bought he bought six total uh this one is also in a tin and it's uh star wars for uh the return of the jedi and this is a thomas kincaid studios puzzle um 
So the 10. And if you're a Star Wars fan like I am, completely cool. Another Thomas Kincaid, um, Sleeping Beauty. This puzzle is really pretty. I've done a few of the Thomas Kincaid, quite a few actually, and I still have quite a few that I have not puzzled um, from the Disney Thomas Kincaid. I haven't done any of the silver foil accents. I don't know if it's just a box, uh, but it'll be interesting to see if the puzzle pieces are of different quality compared to the other Seiko puzzles. So I don't know if it's just a packaging thing or if the puzzle pieces are actually better. So we'll see you soon. And last but not least is another Star Wars puzzle. Um, this is also from Return of the Jedi. And this is actually a Buffalo Games puzzle with the same uh, with the same foil. I do know that Buffalo Games and Seiko are um, a few years ago, I believe. I believe it's been a few years. That Buffalo Games bought Seiko or they merged. I'm not, I think they've merged. Um, so it doesn't surprise me that, you know, they have the same type of boxing now with the foil accents. Um, hopefully they're more of the type of pieces that Buffalo Game has because I really enjoy doing the Buffalo Game pieces. Some of the Seiko puzzles, they're I kind of, they're kind of hit and miss. Some of them you can pick up perfectly. Some of them are kind of crumbly. So it kind of it kind of depends with Seiko. Um, but they always have really incredible puzzle images. Uh, this one I just did by Seiko. Um, this one was definitely a little crumbly though. This one was from Walmart. Um, super cute. Like, super cute puzzle. It had the traditional Seiko pieces, um, but it was a bit crumbly. Like, it would not pass a pickup challenge, for sure. But um, with a cute image like that, you can't pass it up. It's just really adorable. When I bought the Advent Calendar from Puzzles Canada, I also bought a few more puzzles. Sunshine Puzzles. I don't know if you've done a Sunshine Puzzles. I've only done one. No, two. Two sunshine puzzles and they were super fun um, really great quality so I'm really looking forward to doing this one this one is called love I love their abstract art it really makes it just a really fun and quick puzzling experience and they're really pretty and this other one is called space gum like it has the the super fun abstract art Um, it just makes it really fun because you can like start with the yellows or you can start with the, you know, the circles. It just, you can do it different. Like you can put it together five times and build it different every single time. They're just really enjoyable to put together. So if you haven't tried a Sunshine Puzzles, I highly recommend them. The last puzzle I got from Puzzles Canada is this one. This is um, the Dreaming Collection by Jeremiah Kettner. This puzzle is called Baby Bat. So this is the eighth puzzle I have from the Dreaming Collection by Hay. I love the colors. I love the art. Um, I have this puzzle, this puzzle, this puzzle, this puzzle. Now this puzzle and... I believe that one and that one. <laughs> um, I really, really love the colors of these. I, mean, I love the colors. I love the art. They're just, they're just really pretty. So after the first of the year, I'm going to probably do at least half of these because they've been sitting way up on my shelf for much too long. And I really, now that I have this one, I'm like, I really need to do all these so be looking for these after the first of the year i will time lapse them all because i love time lapsing and i won't be working on a huge one hopefully i do plan to start keith herring actually after the first of the year so we'll see what happens 
but I will definitely be doing um, some smaller ones before I start uh, the Big Keith Herring puzzle. I think it's going to be pretty challenging. Okay, the last one is the Ultimate Puzzling Test by Bits and Pieces. So this is 500 pieces of pure purple. When you're done, you get a certificate of achievement. I probably won't be time lapsing this one because it's going to take a little while. Um, but I do plan to start this pretty soon uh, for my puzzle challenge of the month. Each month, I'm going to do a very challenging puzzle. And I think it's going to be this one this month, probably starting next week. I plan to do the puzzle challenge. Let's stump Judy. I do plan to do that in my membership area. Um, so be looking for more information on that in my membership area coming up. And I will talk about that more after I go over more puzzles. So those are the only puzzles that I've bought recently. Um, I'm kind of not trying to buy puzzles right now because Black Friday is coming up. So I'm saving my, my puzzle budget for Black Friday. There's some really cool blue kazoo puzzles that I want. And there's um, like every puzzle I want on Puzzles Canada. So I'm definitely going to save and see what kind of Black Friday sales that I can find. I'll let you know what puzzles I get after I get them after Black Friday. Okay, so next I'm going to go over just a few of the puzzles I'm going to do for Christmas. I actually have about 25 puzzles that I want to do between Thanksgiving and Christmas. I don't know if I'm going to get through them all, especially if I don't get Mickey done really soon. But I still have four more parts after this one. I'm not really running out of time, but you know, some puzzles take two days, some puzzles take five hours. So it kind of just depends what kind of time I have to puzzle. I started the part six Mickey a few days ago, and so far I have nine hours in, which was only three hours per day of puzzling. Things have just been busy, so I'm hoping to get more puzzle hours in during the day so that I can get through all these wonderful Christmas puzzles I have and finish up this uh, making Mickey magic and, of course, doing puzzle challenges. So that's a lot of puzzling. You know, puzzles take time. Even if I don't get them all in, I'm just happy to be puzzling and being able to share all this with you. So let's dive into my Christmas puzzles. Okay, so this is the Saturday Evening Post puzzle by Springbok. I'm not sure exactly what year this puzzle came out. This is Springbok by Hallmark. So probably, if I had to guess, I'd say it was from the maybe 70s, early to mid 80s. I actually bought this from Sarah Schuler. Sarah does puzzles. She sells a lot of puzzles on Facebook. So if you don't follow her, follow um, her on Facebook at Sarah Does Puzzles. And if you don't know who Sarah Schuler is, she's one of the fastest puzzlers in the world. I believe her team came in second place at Worlds. Super amazing puzzler. Uh, but she sells a lot of really cool puzzles on her Facebook page. Uh, so this one looks like it's probably going to be challenging, but um, I know it has all the cool puzzle shapes from the, you know, the older spring box. So this is one that I'm really looking forward to doing this Christmas. And another older spring box that I actually got from Sarah again is uh, Merry Christmas Santa. It's a super traditional looking Santa Claus and... I didn't have time to do it last year. I've had these puzzles for probably a year and a half. So. And again, this is probably one that came out in the late 70s, you know, maybe late 80s. I'm not really sure. It doesn't say on the box. Uh, so I'd have to actually research it. But if anybody wants to know, just let me know in the comments and I'll look it up and see what year these came out. And I will be time lapsing these because they're too pretty not to time lapse. So this is a Christmas puzzle from Enjoy. I got this one from Enjoy last year on um, Black Friday. They had a huge sale where all their puzzles were 50% off. So if they do that again this year, um, definitely Google Enjoy Puzzles and check out their website for Black Friday. They are also on Puzzles Canada. So if you're doing the majority of your shopping on Puzzles Canada, um, they do have a wide selection of Enjoy Puzzles there also. Enjoy Puzzles are really great quality. I believe Enjoy goes to the same manufacturers as Magnolia. And Magnolia Puzzles are 
really great also. And we have another sunshine puzzle. Um, I bought this a little while ago. I don't know if I mentioned it in a puzzle haul. I might have prior because um, I bought this a while ago. Um, but this is Super Christmas. It's going to be a pretty easy puzzle. It's 500. Well, I don't know. Actually, that's a lot, a lot of green. So it might not be as easy as I'm thinking. <laughs> but it'll be fun. It's only 500 pieces. It shouldn't really be too terribly bad, you know, with the gradient and the different colored greens. I think it'll be quite enjoyable for Christmas. This is just a cute 400 piece spring box puzzle. Um, this is one of their newer puzzles that I bought earlier this year. And I probably actually put it in a puzzle haul recently or maybe this summer. Um, but it's all snowmen. I love snowmen. Like my Christmas tree has a ton of snowmen. My sister gave me a ton of snowmen. <laughs> so, um, and I have more snowman puzzles that I'll be doing. But I didn't talk about all my snowman puzzles or all my Christmas puzzles. That way some of them are a surprise. I've been thinking for a long time about what I wanted to do for my membership groups. One of the things I'll be doing for my membership is a puzzle art series. It'll include a few different things. When you have a wooden puzzle, you make art with the wooden puzzle. So you have most of the puzzle complete and then you kind of explode an area. There's a store here in Albuquerque called Puzzled and I know I've mentioned them before, but I was making puzzle art for their store and it's hanging on the wall. Um, so I thought it would be really fun to be able to uh, go live or have pre-recorded art. The first couple will be pre-recorded because of the fact that I don't know how long it's going to really take for like the paint to dry or the glue to dry. So that way I can kind of gauge about how long it's going to take in a live video. So I do have, I do plan to have a puzzle art video uh, uh, within the next week or two for the membership. It will be pre-recorded. That way I can gauge about how long the live videos will take. That way when I announce a live, I'll be like, Make sure you save, you know, two hours so that we can do this puzzle art. The puzzle art idea with the exploding pieces comes from um, the Puzzle Lab. So their wooden puzzles, they make some really amazing art with their wooden puzzles. So that's where the whole idea comes from. The puzzle store here in Albuquerque asked me if I'd make art for them. And I'm like, well, of course, because I got to put the puzzle together and then I got to make art and you know take pretty pictures and videos the puzzle art is really fun to do and i thought it would be even more fun if we did it like together so that's where the whole idea for a puzzle art series comes from uh the first one or two will more than likely be pre-recorded um i do plan to post one within the next like week or two with some puzzle art that i'm going to do with um a zen chalet puzzle with the flip flops i think it's going to be really cute and another thing if you have puzzles that you are satisfied with the quality or it was missing pieces don't throw the puzzle away make sure you save the puzzle with the puzzle pieces because one of the things i would like to do before christmas is possibly make like a a puzzle wreath which i think would be really cool so also in my membership i would like to do a stump Judy or or stump the puzzler puzzle puzzle challenge where I allow you to select the challenging puzzle for me and we can see how long it takes. I do plan to let you select the puzzle for me and then if you also want to participate in the puzzle challenge of the month then we can do it together and um, I'll put a lot of updates you know in my membership area. I'm not quite sure what the rules will be for the puzzle challenge of the month. I definitely won't be doing something like this live because it's going to take a while. If we do this and you guys want to puzzle it with me and then we can kind of compare our thoughts on it if it's too hard. Um, just stuff like that. I think it'll be really fun, really interactive and be looking for my membership. It should be up right now when you're watching this video. And the last thing I have is see my brackets. I have the puzzle pieces. They are on my Etsy website. Um, I do have the puzzle pieces along with a puzzle piece and a bracket. You can buy the puzzle pieces separately or you can buy them with a bracket. The brackets are from Lowe's for I think $8 and something. So you can just buy the puzzle pieces or you can buy them both. I think I have about 110 puzzle pieces. They're great. I have probably 100 plus puzzles up, up there on my ceiling. So it definitely saves a lot of space. 
to put your puzzles up. I'm going to keep working on the Mickey, making Mickey magic. Um, right here on my board, I have, I have 20,000 pieces and then I started the sixth one. So when this is done, I'll have 24,000 pieces on my puzzle table. I just keep stacking them up. It works great. Still hoping for a Thanksgiving finish, but um, time is kind of dwindling away. So I don't know if that's going to happen. I, I, I really don't know. Check out my membership if you're interested in doing puzzle art or stump the puzzler um, or just looking more behind the scenes of what I'm doing here. And that's all I have today. Like, subscribe, um, and just have fun. Happy puzzling. Bye, guys.